What's it like to be a butterfly? Written by Ginny Johnson. A butterfly is an insect. It has six legs and two pairs of colorful wings. So what's it like to be a butterfly? I love being a butterfly. It's fun flying around on my beautiful wings. Do you like my red stripes and white spots? So this is a special butterfly and is called a red admiral. All day long, I flutter from flower to flower. It's going for I land on a flower and unroll my long tongue. Then I suck up a lovely sugary liquid called nectar. Nectar is one of my favorite foods. I didn't always look like this. I started life as a tiny egg. My mom laid her eggs on nettle leaves. That's a type of leaf. Can you see the tiny eggs she laid? I started to grow inside the egg. Then I made a little hole in the egg. I wriggled out. Look at me. I was a creepy crawly caterpillar. And this is a red admiral egg that is hatches. My mom wasn't there when I hatched out. But she knew I would have plenty to eat. I gobbled up my eggshell after I hatch. Then I began to eat as many nettle leaves as I could. I was so busy eating, it was hard to watch out for birds and spiders. They sometimes catch and eat caterpillars like me. So I found a big nettle leaf and folded it over myself. I glued the edges together with silk threads. That kept me safe. I made these silk threads myself. See them right there? I ate so much, I grew fatter and fatter. My skin got very tight. I had new skin growing underneath. I wriggled out of my old skin and left it behind. This old skin also called an echo skeleton. When I had grown as big as I could, I stopped eating. My skin split for the last time and underneath was a hard case called a chrysalis. Inside this, I turned from a caterpillar into a butterfly. Then I wriggled out of the chrys chrysalis. I spread my wings and flew for the first time. What fun that was. Now I'm looking for another red admiral butterfly. We will mate and lay our own eggs. Can you find another red admiral butterfly for me? Which one do you think it is? Can you find it? And that is the end. Hi, Greenies. So, so I just read that story. What's it like to be a butterfly? So I have a fun art project for you to do. Check this out. Doesn't that look like a butterfly? Maybe if I turn it this way. So that looks like antennae. And there's the wings. So I'll tell you what you need to make this butterfly. Or one like it, actually. So you're going to need white paper, or you can use any color paper. I use white. You're going to need paints. You're going to need a paintbrush, water to clean your paintbrush, and a paper towel. All right, so the first thing I did, 
I took my paper and I'm going to fold it in half. Just like that. See that? I folded it in half. Okay. Now I'm going to open it up and I'm going to take some paints. I'm going to take blue. Take my paintbrush and put some blue only on one side, just like that, dab it on. Okay, I take my paintbrush, put it in the water to clean it, and I might need a paper towel just to clean that paint off. How about if I use red? Here it is. And again, you just dab it on like that. Only on one side. And take your paintbrush, clean it. Wipe it with that paper towel. And how about I need some yellow? Try that yellow. Dab it on, just one, one side. Okay, clean the brush. Wipe the brush. And let's try some green. It's a pretty green. And I'll put some little more on like that. Okay. You can use as many paints as you want. You know what? I'll try for one more color. How about this blue? All right, let's see what's going to happen. I'm going to take my paper and I'm going to fold it over like that. And now, you see all these paints are here. So I'm going to press down with the paint. So I'm going to count to 10 and press down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's open it up and see what it looks like. Wow, what do you think? It looks like a beautiful butterfly. So, I can't wait to see your butterflies. Send us pictures. Bye, Garinis.